back to my channel. I'm feeling a bit ill, so please excuse the voice. But I'm filming a chatty life update video today. I've been thinking of doing this little segment called skincare snacks and chats because I'm gonna be doing my skincare in this video. I've got some fizzy laces, I've got a skinny can of Coke, which if you know, skinny cans of Coke taste better than the normal ones. Don't ask me why, but they just taste nicer to me. I feel like I've not done a proper sit down video in ages. I've, like, I feel like all my videos now are just vlogs. Um, so I kind of miss doing just like sit down chill videos. But it's Saturday night, I um, don't really have many plans tonight. I could have gone out, but I just kind of just felt like saying, and you know, I've got a busy few weeks slash months coming up. So I just wanted to take time just to chill a little bit. I'll get into the massive life update soon. But basically, I've got this high frequency machine for my skin. Um, it's like one of the red light machines and you can like zap spots as well so i'm gonna do that because i don't get it out to use often enough but it is really good um but i'm gonna take my makeup off first i've just got the johnson's pampering baby what not baby wipes makeup wipes um but i used to use these ages ago and i just don't know why i ever stopped using them um because i got some makeup wipes from primark was my last ones and they just like i don't know well, they just don't really get my makeup off that well they're quite dry um so I'm just going to take it off, but they smell so nice as well. So, first life update is... Well, it's not really life update. It's just kind of a life review, I guess, if you would say. Um, in March, we would have been in Manchester for a whole year, which is actually crazy to me. Like, how has it almost been a year? Like, it's just gone so quickly. Like, I know everyone says, like, oh, when you get older, life goes quicker. But it literally does. Like, how a whole year ago, we literally packed up and moved our life four hours away. Um, I actually just don't even know. But it's absolutely the best decision ever. Like, I'm just so beyond happy here. Like, I feel like we just have a better quality of life now. Like, we're always, like doing more things, exploring more things, obviously better opportunities for like work as well, met like some of my best friends up here, also made like amazing memories with my friends back home, um, so yeah it's just like I just absolutely love it. so I just like absolutely don't regret it whatsoever, if anyone's thinking about doing like a sudden life change that like no one who you know has done before or even if you do like just if you're thinking of doing something just do it because you will literally just like before i moved i literally thought about moving every day for honestly like two years and then i was just like one day i just thought fuck it why am i not doing this like literally what is stopping me nothing um so yeah moving swiftly on to the big life update so we are actually moving which is so exciting slash scary still gonna be in manchester still gonna be in the city center um but yeah we so basically they put our they were going to be putting our rent up here and it just kind of like i was always sort of thinking about like moving somewhere else just to have a bit of a change like here we don't have a balcony like explore like a different side of the city um and yeah so they were putting our rent up and it was coming up to like oh we only signed on for a year anyway so it was coming up to our year renewal and they were like this is like what the price is gonna be like blah blah and we were just thinking like for the price that we were to be paying we might as well move somewhere a bit different that has like a bit more better facilities um and just like a nicer apartment so we are moving i'm really excited there's going to be so many moving vlogs and i'm also just excited to like update all my decor and yeah it's just gonna be like another new exciting chapter for us i'm gonna crack open the fizzy laces um but yeah like i was saying new exciting chapter i think it's just gonna be fun like i know moving is very very stressful and don't get me wrong finding a new apartment in the rent crisis in manchester was a fucking task i'm so happy that we found somewhere and 
yeah i'm just excited i really want to get like a new sort of not even a new style of decor just like some different decor obviously it's going to be like a different space so there'll be lots of hauls coming up lots of home shopping it'll be nice as well when we're moving we've already got the majority of our stuff like it's not like we've got to go buy those more like cutlery and pots and pans it will just be like getting the nice like furnishing bits now that is it coming up um but yeah i'm just excited and like i said can't believe we've always been in manchester a year like what the actual hell um but yeah don't regret it at all and it's just it literally is just my favorite place like it's my favorite place to be also i feel like no one really talks about this but visiting home when you've moved away is just the strangest feeling ever like obviously like it's so nice to be back with everyone and see everyone but then you've also like i don't know for me i've got like this sounds really so depressing but like where you've got a place with loads of bad memories because like i grew up in that place my whole life until i was 21 and then i moved like you have so many like good and bad memories there and also the same with like the people the places like it's just a weird feeling obviously like i said i absolutely love going home to like visit my family and friends and stuff but yeah it's, it's just like i don't know if anyone else feels like that it's just the weirdest feeling to explain because this is like my home but then also with my family is my home as well so it's kind of like having two homes and it's like where feels more like home like it's just like the you would never understand it unless you've done it like it's just like the strangest feeling i'm gonna do this basically it's like the high frequency machine oh i start it on low first i've not used this in ages you basically just go around your face in little circles. Um, by the way, please don't take my advice for this. I've literally got it off Amazon. I have it no training or anything. Um, so yeah, don't take this as full on acne skincare advice. But it's meant to help with redness and killing bacteria um, for your spots. My skin's having a little bit of a breakout at the minute which i mean it's literally me when the fuck do i not have break random breakouts on my skin for no apparent reason um another video i want to film please let me know if anyone will be interested in this it's like an acne journey video because one thing about me is i i'm just like i've always had acne i honestly think since i was in year six i've had like i've struggled on and off with acne and i'm not saying like i've had it like all the time because i've been on like the pill roaccutane loads of different medicines since and then sometimes i've been on nothing well i've still always been on the pill but like sometimes i've been on no extra like skincare medication and my skin's been perfect so it's really just the journey like honestly i don't think i'll ever not have some sort of acne skin condition like anything like that um and to be honest, I've just accepted it now. Like, it used to make me so, so upset. But I just think, like, everyone has their insecurities. And also, it's just so normal. Like, I remember when I was in school, I had the most horrendous acne. And, like, none of my friends really had it. And I'd be so embarrassed. Like, I'd literally go into school with my face. Like, so much makeup on, which just made it even worse. Like, I would literally just be sat in school thinking, oh, my God. Like, if I heard someone whisper, I'm thinking, oh, my God, they're speaking about my skin. When they probably wasn't. Well, some people definitely were. But most people probably wasn't. Like, it's just, like, a lot of it is in your head. And also... I just feel like you've got to remember like it doesn't take away from your beauty or anything like just because you've got a few spots on your face like it's just there's like so many more things about you that are more interested than like your skin and that's what I've just got to think now because like I said like my I think it's just hereditary to be honest because my parents had really bad skin when they were younger so did my sister like my sister's skin is like perfect now so she doesn't get it anymore, but she's literally 27. Or she turned turn, it, no, she's 27 now. Um, turning 28 soon. So I just think, like, hopefully I'll just grow out of it one day, but if I don't, then I'm literally fine with that now. Top tier advice from me don't let anyone tell you 
your skin's bad because you wear makeup or your skin's bad because you just pile on so much makeup. Because I went to the dermatologist when I got referred and they were like, makeup doesn't have an effect. Like, obviously, yeah, sure, if your skin is like really sensitive to a certain ingredient, then that's probably not going to help it. But like, you don't have cystic acne or hormonal acne because you wear makeup. Like, that is literally ridiculous. But everyone used to say it to me, or they'd be like, oh, have you tried this skincare product? Like, yes, and I've tried every single skincare product under the sun and nothing is still working. Anyway, that's my skincare rant over. I honestly think acne and skincare and doctors and medicine and all that sort of, sort of stuff is literally my Roman Empire. I think I'm going to do a whole video on it, to be honest, because I could literally chat about it for days. I have my spa candle one that my mum got me for Christmas and it smells incredible. If anyone can get one, please just do it because you won't regret it. It smells just divine. Anyway, next topic of conversation is, oh my God, my sister just texted me saying I have my spa candle on too and a DC. Well, I have a full fat C, but no DC, whatever. Um, anyway, next topic i've literally had to make a notes list because my brain is so like once i start talking i can just talk forever so next thing is 2024 plans i am really excited for 2024 like obviously i know every year everyone says that but 2024 i just have such a good feeling about like we're fully settled in our new home like that was obviously like last year like i'm fully settled now we're fully settled we're fully confident we're stepping it up guys we're making the most of memories we're making most of being 22 and young and embracing life anyway first plans of 2022 start 2022 2024 what the hell is wrong with me starting off strong on saturday i fly to barbados <laughs> i am actually so beyond excited like it's one of those places that i've always think oh my god i would love to go there but i never thought i would actually be able to go like it's just mad to me anyway we're going for my parents retirement which they retired another really exciting thing because i just feel like i'm going to be able to spend more time with them like when i go home i'll just be able to like fully see them like while they're not working and same with them coming up here so we're going for 10 days next week and i'm just beyond excited like the weather at the minute is absolutely gross and also it's so much colder up north than down south i know everyone just like says it but like i actually didn't believe it i was like well it's in england i have that much colder but it really really is a full glow up is definitely pending for me other plans that we have on the list for 2024 is we've got a girls holiday coming up to abitha haven't booked it yet but need to book it also so exciting because my other friend is out there at the same time as us with her group of friends so it's just gonna be a fun time like i absolutely love ibiza i went not last year but the year before and literally just had the best time so that is on the plans what else is on the plans also me and liam have been together five years this year so we're planning on doing potentially a little trip for that last year for our four years we went to seville and it was so nice we just went for like a long weekend um also our anniversary is always in the school holidays and i have a feeling it's always on bank holiday weekend let me check i'm sure it always falls on that weekend so obviously everything is like really expensive then but it's our five years so i feel like you literally have to do it yeah it's literally on the bank holiday anyway I digress so that's in the plans we're not really sure where we're just gonna see maybe like a little city break my friend is going to rome next week for her birthday so she's gonna let us know how that is i'm sure it'll be amazing but yeah just just sort of like having to think of where we can go probably just like a little cute hot city weekend away the only thing i'll say is when we went to seville last year it was absolutely boiling like so hot and we were also a bit stupid because we were like oh the flights and hotels are pretty cheap compared to everywhere let's just book it not realizing they were that cheap because of 
the heat because everyone flies out of the country when it's that hot, obviously. But it was still a really nice time. And we were also potentially thinking about doing like a winter holiday. Maybe, I don't know, we kind of fancy going somewhere cold. Maybe like Iceland or somewhere like that. I always want to go back to Lapland. I feel like, is that an adult thing? I went when I was younger and I absolutely loved it. Just somewhere like maybe with snow, maybe in a little log cabin, anywhere that sort of vibe to be honest so yeah those are the holiday potential plans for this year like i said we've only got barbados booked so i'm hoping the others pan out oh also other plans for this year going to the jonas brothers for well for my best friend's birthday last year i booked us tickets for her birthday to go this year so going to the jonas brothers i just absolutely love them so much like their music just just makes me so happy it gives me so much nostalgia like i just love their music also another unreal event of the year got the girls bathroom planet tour tickets thank god it was literally a mission and a half to get those tickets we were getting them for oh, was it about six of us mm, 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 mm. yeah we were getting tickets for six girls and me and Lee was both on FaceTime trying to get the tickets. And first of all, she got in first and got kicked out. I was like 50th in the queue and then I managed to get through and get the tickets. But it was literally such a challenge. But I'm so happy we've got them. I literally can't wait. My sister and her friend have been before and Lee's also been before. But I've not been before, Maya's not been before, and Lee's friend. I don't think she's been either. I don't think. I'm not sure. But I'm just so excited. Like, I absolutely love them. Also, Chintzy was in Manchester last week, and I was like, please let me see her. And did I see her? No. But it's fine because I'll be seeing her on tour. I'm using this Cordially Serum. It is the the no perfect serum my friend got me a little gift set for my birthday and it's so cute and mini but i've always gone through the whole bottle it's so good i really want to repurchase the big bottle of it i'm probably just going to try get it like when it's on offer because i think it is like 50 pounds but i do absolutely love it like it doesn't break my skin out or anything um and yeah it's just my fave i also picked up these blemish patches today um from super drug i've wanted to get some for ages because i'm so bad at picking my skin oh they're so cute and tiny i thought they were probably way bigger than that to be fair but i'm just gonna pop a few on i don't know what is going on with my skin at the minute i'm just gonna stick like maybe like two or three on just the bad ones oh right i see how you get them off now I feel like you could literally put your makeup on over these. Like, they are very thin. I'm kind of confused how you get them off, though. You, like, literally can't even see them on my face. So, like, this one you can a bit because I've accidentally, like, ripped a half of it off. I'm not going to lie. But, wow, these are so good. Like, I guess if you had a really bad spot and wanted to, like, go out, then these could be pretty good, to be fair. Also got quite a few new purchases recently i got the charlotte tilbury foundation and i absolutely love it i've only used it twice but it's really nice because i felt like i was missing like a nice full coverage foundation i only have like sheer sort of skin tint ones um i've just realized i've stuck this blemish to cut half on my lips so if i'm not speaking a bit weird then that's why what else did i get i got the refi like stippling and contour brush i really really like that thoroughly enjoying that at the minute and then i got the charlotte tilbury matte i think it's like a peach one um matte Pe peach oh my god i can't speak matte peach liquid blush and i love that i mix that in with peach gasm so it's like a shimmery and a matte and it is just beautiful i really need to do an updated makeup tutorial i might do that when i'm on holiday when i'm like feeling a bit more tanned because i am pale as anything at the minute I'm going to end today's video here. I hope you enjoyed spending a little self-care evening with me. 
and enjoyed my life update hopefully there'll be some really nice holiday vlogs and moving vlogs coming up soon and also just wanted to say i hit 500 subscribers so thank you so much to anyone who subs my camera died and i'm gonna go eat some dinner but thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to everyone in the next video